Hello guys, today I would like to show you how to make this beautiful royal blue lace couture style dress. It took me two days, so if you'd like to learn how to do it, stay tuned. This time I'm creating my pattern by using dressmaking dummy and clear plastic. I pin around front center panel and then trace it with the pen. Next, I do the same for side front panel, dividing it into two parts, where I will need to create a dart. Plastic is much better to bend and it's clear, so I can see all the lines, so it's a really good trick for you guys. After all panels are done, I lay them on paper so I can trace around them and place the darts to the sides the way I want it. Then I place pattern on chosen fabric and cut around it. This time I chosen pearl studded mesh fabric in royal blue color. After I cut out one side, I double folded the fabric so I can accurately match it to the second side and cut out the second side. I did the same for back panels. Guys, please don't forget seam allowances. One centimeter around the edges and about one and a half centimeter for back central line. That's where the zip will be inserted. For sleeves, I used an old pattern that I found in my drawers. I've measured the holes so they fit perfect and I cut it in medium size. This is really fast solution rather than me trying to open some educational books and trying to create my own pattern. Next step is me removing stud pearls so they don't get on the way when I'm sewing it with the sewing machine or overlock. In this case I'm using overlock for the side seams of the top and for the shoulder seams as well. Seems like a really good fast solution. Then I got the skirt part by hand first. This is the mesh fabric and next will be cotton fabric which will be an underskirt. Kind of matching it both by waistline and sewing it through the sewing machine. Yes, like this. Hello guys, today is my second day off and we're continuing working on a blue dress. It's early in the morning. I just woke up a couple of hours ago and I usually have very small mornings just like doing crop and shit and I'm going to have a coffee now and then chill a little bit more and then go back to work to that dress. I like to make coffee in a takeaway cup. I buy them at Costco. I love it because it gives me an illusion that I bought coffee. This coffee cost me about 30, 35, maybe 40 pence. It was like any Costco or Starbucks coffee would cost you, what, three pounds something. On my balcony having coffee, that's what I call procrastination. I can't bloody make myself start the day today. Usually when I set up like a sewing project for myself, I set up a time scale and I never never achieve this time scale i always kind of like it takes longer i'm sorry for the what the hell is going on why is it so loud here uh, this is the station this is a kids somewhere there's a church otherwise the view is really beautiful is it if not for screaming and noise around and this is the reason why i want to move to countryside i'm tired of london I lived here for 10 years, actually in the same place, and I just I just want some peace and quiet. I actually don't sit too much often on my balcony. To be honest, like um, you can't hear that much inside though. Like it's really good noise proof. My flat is very good noise proof. That's the good thing. Yeah. Just want to show you the jacket that I got recently. Oh, I love it. I wanted silver for quite a while now and I'm going skiing soon so that's awesome. 
Okay, so this is the dress that came out. That's, um, I already took off this top of the mannequin and tried it on. Well, this is the first dress of this type that I ever made. So, um, so there obviously will some mistake be made. This is just a trial dress, yeah. And what I'm going to do now next, I'm going to attach some I'm going to attach the skirt to this top. When I look at the back one, it is a little bit loose. A little, it is a little bit tight on me, but I will still make little darts here, just like to make it shape around the body. And back to sewing, attaching bodies to the skirt, then the zip to the back, then back seam of underskirt, and top skirt attaching kind of together so yeah there's lots and lots of sewing going on right now guys next step is cutting out millions of flowers from the lace fabric of your choice there is no particular order on how to place lace on mesh body just play with it the way you feel let your inner core activity out the world is your stage there is no limits Here you see just a small fraction of me hand sewing every single piece onto mesh body. In fact, it took around 4 hours to hand sew every single flower. Super couture! Ok guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, all the best, love, Asana, DIY.